Hello YouTubers, I'm Parwiz and this is our third video in Learn Django 2.1. Uh, in the previous video, we have uh, created super user uh, and uh, we have uh, talked about uh, what is super user. So let me start my uh, server and uh, uh, I will show you. Um, let me start my development server. And uh, uh, in this video, uh, I want to show you uh, about apps first of all what's apps and uh, how you can create apps in Django uh, so in this video we will talk about apps and uh, let me open the terminal okay uh, now uh, let me uh, change directory to my project uh, my project and now I'm going to run my development server python uh, manage dot by uh, run server now I'm going to uh, run my server and it will create my development server in Django and okay now it's created uh, just copy this uh, uh, URL and uh, and uh, copy this paste it in your browser and you haven't if you haven't watched the previous videos I highly recommend you to watch the previous video now I'm going to go to my admin administration panel yeah you can see I have in here uh, because I have already logged in and I haven't logged out so I have one user that is uh, the super user that main ad uh, administrator so now uh, in this video we are going to talk about apps what is apps uh, the apps concept is not that you're using in your mobile we have uh, we have a mobile application we have called that the mobile application as apps or applications but in here it's a different concept uh, Django apps are pieces of a big project that is used to group uh, application functionality. If you want to work with content from a database or user interaction, you have to create and configure uh, Django apps. Uh, a project can contain as many apps as you want. You can have, uh, for example, two apps, three apps, four apps, 10 apps, 20 apps. It is related to your project, how big your project is. So, uh, for example, if you want to create, uh, I want to create a news website. Uh, a news website, I want to have a page for news, a page for sport news, uh, a page for contact us. So now every uh, every one of this, uh, we can call it app. For example, we will have a, a, a separate app for our uh, news, for sport news, we have a separate app. And for uh, contact us, we will have a separate app these all apps um, become group and create a big project a, a complete website so now I'm going to show you how you can create a uh, app uh, let me open my PyCharm terminal uh, now in here uh, this is uh, my server let me create a new session and now in here first I need to uh, uh, CD uh, my project my project now for creating your apps you can simply write a uh, python manage.py and start app okay after that you give your app name for example uh, the first name I'm going to give it uh, news like this and hit enter yeah now it created our app and let me uh, show you and it will be in here in my project yeah now you can see we have a news app uh, in this section I will display uh, explain these uh, files first of all for example uh, I want to create another app and uh, mm, python manage.py uh, start app and my app name is uh, uh, for example sport news 
sport news at enter I want to create another app Python manage.py start app and my app name is for example contact us like this as many apps you want you can create it is related to your project to your website so now if I uh, see in here I have a news app I have a sport news and I have a contact us so uh, now let me just remove these two because I just need one app and I it was for okay <coughs> now uh, I'm going to uh, explain this. The, this is migrations and uh, the migrations uh, it is for uh, database and uh, your database uh, uh, your app database action will be take place in the migration. We have in it.py. Uh, this is Python file to allow app package to be imported from other directories and this in it .py is not a uh, uh, Django specific because it is generic file used in almost Python applications so after this uh, we have let me just uh, close these files and close all after that we have admin admin.py so uh, what is this admin.py uh, uh, this is a, a file uh, with the admin definition for that uh, we can create a uh, our uh, models our model classes and we can register our model classes in that mean uh, you will see in the later videos that uh, uh, how you can do this uh, we create our model classes for example we can uh, create a, uh, for a database model for example for news and you want to access that uh, database model in your admin panel you can simply register your that uh, mod uh, your that model in this admin dot by and you will access that models in your uh, admin panel so uh, after this we have apps dot by uh, this apps dot by is file it is uh, the apps configuration parameters and it's not uh, much important right now and we have models dot by this is where we can create our database models for our specific app uh, so you will see in the later uh, videos and we have uh, test.py it is for testing purpose and we have views.py uh, this is the section that we can create our views uh, we can add our HTML files in our views our HTML file functions and I will show you in the later videos so this was our app uh, section video and in the next video we will talk about uh, um, how you can create your URLs now we have a news but if I for example uh, if I go to the uh, news uh, there's page not found but uh, uh, I want that uh, this uh, news should be as a URL so in the next video I will show you if you have any question please let me know uh, for the further videos please subscribe to my channel and also like the videos